Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. And I'm Nicole Brewer. Longtime Pennsylvania Congressman Bob Brady makes an announcement he is not seeking re-election. Natasha Brown was at that announcement. She joins us from Spring Garden with what he says is the reason behind his departure. Natasha. Well, all day long, ward leaders, community members, and city leaders as well have all come here to the Brady Building in the Spring Garden section of Philadelphia to wish Congressman Brady well. There were hugs, some tears, and certainly a lot of surprise at today's announcement. Proudly donning a Philadelphia Eagles shirt, one of Pennsylvania's longest serving members of Congress uttered these words. I made a decision that it would be best for me not to you know, run for re-election. After serving for 20 years, Congressman Bob Brady of the 1st District of Philadelphia will not seek re-election. He reflects on the heartfelt moments that led up to this decision. I look back at all the other days and nights where the job came first. I had to choose public service over my family and my friends. Today I'm just choosing you know, family over service. The powerful chair of the Democratic Party in Philadelphia made the announcement amid an FBI corruption investigation involving Brady's campaign. Prosecutors have accused his campaign of illegally paying a 2012 primary challenger $90,000 to drop out of the race. Brady unequivocally denies any involvement, revealing this latest news. My lawyers advised me that based on their review of the status of the case and the statute of limitations expiring, that I will not be charged in this case. Brady's heavily Democratic district faces near certain changes now that a gerrymandering lawsuit has prompted the state Supreme Court to redraw boundaries of Pennsylvania's 18 congressional districts. Nonetheless, Brady says he never feared a loss if he were to run again, touting his irreplaceable accomplishments over the years. I brought back 15.5 billion with a B billion dollars to the city of Philadelphia and its region. There's nobody that could come in and do all the things I've done. While Brady's replacement remains uncertain, he continued to reflect on what brought him to this decision, family first. It wasn't the fact that whether I would lose or not win or win or not lose, it was the fact that I wanted to come back home. Well, Congressman Brady says that he will leave it up to the city party to decide who it wants to support in the primary election. Meantime, he will continue to remain the head of the Democratic Party in Philadelphia. That is the very latest for now. Reporting live here in the Spring Garden section of the city, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. All right, Natasha, thank you.